Hello everyone and welcome back to XCOM The Ship War. <laughs> so long Exalt, so long. Guys, we need to discuss something here right at the start of this video. Um, a very observant viewer and follower of my YouTube channel here uh, by the name of Hephaesto, it did bring up a very good point. We are running oh, um, we are running into a trap with open eyes uh, I have to add here and I have to thank you Hephaesto for bringing that up and uh, you know drawing my attention to it. Uh, once we are about once we are doing that alien base mission that is coming up soon in Australia because we want Australia back to get that juicy continent bonus right um the aliens will retaliate sooner or later with and that will trigger this will trigger one of the hardest missions of long war and uh, XCOM in general the infamous base defense mission and in that base defense mission it appears that it's it is not possible to bring ships and that will leave us who is uh, or who are actually utilizing ships every mission with a very big problem. So we have to turn uh, turn the tides here or I have to turn around the strategy a bit and we have to prepare for that specific mission right now, right here. I would love to spend the 1380 bucks that we got from uh, the Exalt mission now here um, to spend it all on firestorms and all that good stuff. But no, we have to prepare for a, a squad size of at least 10 that we have to equip during that base defense mission. So, let me show you real quick how good are we on armor? We have seven armors. That's not enough. That's not enough. So, uh, yeah, we need to build more. Unfortunately, I would love to build 20 Titan armors, but the alloys, the alloys are the very big bottleneck here. Um, one would cost 60 alloys here to build one titan armor. So I'm thinking I'm building one and the rest of the alloys... Uh, by the way, building another firestorm is completely out of the question. Requires 180 alloys. We need the alloys elsewhere. Uh, I also cannot forget the foundry. There is one project in particular that we need to do before we go to the base. Let's all go to the base. Well, uh, uh, is here the Super Sky Ranger, and unfortunately the Super Sky Ranger requires also alloys. The alloys, man, the alloys. Alright, so that will take us um, nine days and we will immediately order this, begin the project. So in nine days we will have the Super Sky Ranger project ready that allows us to bring more people to the alien base um, mission, which is good, which is good. I'll make sure production begins immediately. That's good, Dr. That's good. So, and as I said, we need to uh, up our armor accounts. Uh, I think weapons-wise, we are not in a bad position. Uh, we have three pulse rifle, pulse, snipe, pulse sniper rifles too. We have blaster rifles too, right? So that makes in, in and of themselves alone um, blah, 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 seven, right? And we have a pulse auto blaster. That's eight. The stand guns for a rocket here. That's nine. Yeah, I don't know what the third, the tenth one could could be. I have no idea. We are lacking a tenth weapon. A good tense weapon, that is. Oh, we have the scatter blaster. There you go, the tense weapon. There you go. So weapons wise, we should be fine. Uh, we have even laser rifles left for the base personnel that is going to help us. This is off. That is great, but we don't have phalanx armor. Also takes alloys. God damn it. <coughs> okay. So what can we do here? Maybe instead of building a single titan armor. We could also build, let's see, uh, only two Aegis armors, right? We are lacking, we are lacking a few alloys. God damn it! Then she takes also thirty-six. Uh, 
Yeah, so, um... If I t build one Titan armor, I cannot even build another Aegis armor on top of that. I'm lacking two alloys. How long will, does it take to build these things? Nine days for the Aegis and the Titan armor takes... 11 days. Okay. So how about we order this one Titan armor now? Right, we need one anyway. So, submit the order. There you go. And then we only need two alloys to get more uh, to get more Aegis armor on top of that. Yeah, I like that. So do we have anything in the repair bay that needs repairing? Yeah, holo target, super heavy pulser and core armoring. Let's do that as well. 12 alloys, are you freaking kidding me? All right, I hate that repair mechanic. I hate it with a vengeance, guys, with a vengeance. So are there any foundry project that doesn't require alloys? Yes. This is actually pretty good, the improved med kit, since we are going to see uh, missions coming up that only have humans on them. Uh, we will have need for improved healing, right? So I need that improved med kit um, thing, uh, a med kit foundry project. The problem I see is I have only 23 cement corpses or something. That means I actually cannot build myself one of these, which requires 15 thinmen corpses and alloys. God damn it. Chem grenades are so good and I have neglected them throughout the whole campaign. I need to build myself chem grenades. But as I said, I only have like 23 cinnamon Thanks corpses. Thanks to the aliens, our engineering team has managed to negate billions of dollars in traditional aerospace they development with a single ship. That's unfortunate. So that's either or. Either or the improved med kit or the um, chem grenade. Now, a chem grenade has strategic value. Great strategic value because It lowers so many stats for the enemy. Uh, the medkit, although... I feel like if I don't have improved medkit uh, foundry project, I might as well not bring a medic. And we are going to bring a medic. Uh, yeah, so yeah, I'm, I'm going to begin that project here. It takes five days. There you go. Mech pistols, weapon fragments, money... Aircraft boosters, proofed avionics, takes alloys, flight computers, 400 bucks. UFO tracking, also alloys, Psy warfare systems, that might be an idea here. Twenty alien weapon, no alloys required, no alloys required, I like that idea. UFO scanners, alloys, Ugh. Since we, uh, we are bringing our medics, and our medics are trading heavily into Psy, also we need to bring a net to psionic rank level so that we can get to the... Reducing research time by 25%. Excellent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to do this. Costs only 100 bucks. Cool. In the project. Uh, we need to bring a net to psionic rank so that we can, uh, you know, the go on that main mission stuff. I think we will I'll keep the sure rest of our credits. Uh, it's finished. fine to um, keep uh, a stash of uh, credits now, now that Exalt is gone, right? <coughs> so what else do we need? Let me have a look at my hangar. We have five interceptors now. Should be okay. Satellites, when are the satellites coming in? They are coming in in 9 and 11 days respectively. That's fine. Okay, let's advance time, see what happens. So they are asking for meld, giving us engineers. Yes, sure. UK can have that. Let's visit the Dr. Shen. This morning, 89 right? engineers. All right, We're that's cool. Glad to have more help down here. Yeah, so are we prepared for uh, for that alien base mission? And Incoming transmission. Ooh. Ah, <coughs> that's the end of Excellent the month. Excellent work, Commander. This council is pleased to see our... Okay, we gotta be... This Fine. Worthwhile. No continent bonus here. Successes only mark the beginning of an enduring effort 
to eliminate okay we got 88 bucks threat. nice nice so we I'm actually wondering maybe I should commander. buy something here company offices to get more offices out there then provision bonus defense of forces in a bonus cover damage with reduction near officer mm-hmm but we have the MP EMP weapons coming up but I read that you need sectoid racks to uh, sectopod racks to build EMP weapons so I don't think we are going deeper into that sometimes anytime soon hmm by the way Annette is at where is she here 400 of out of 500 SI XP okay I think we should buy the next level of officers at least there you go confirm good and now let's promote a few so we have a f uh, three lieutenants and two captains available to us so she has willpower 55 at a pretty high rank I don't like that so do we have a manic that is not a Psy soldier? Yeah, Patricia for example. But do we want to make you an officer is the question. I want Merit to be to, to be an officer. Merit is cool. Double tap, will to survive. 55 willpower at Tech Sergeant rank. No, Gunnery Sergeant rank. That's not too good in willpower, I have to say. I mean, we might take extra conditioning as the last ability on her, so that'll give at least a little bit willpower. Hmm. It's just because of sentimental reasons I'm going to give her the officer promotion. Yeah, <laughs> sentimental. There you go. A squad with C plus one will per different nationality in the squad. All units in the squad have post mission fatigue, but you stay frosty, of course. Continue, yeah. Yes, please. There you go, Merit. You earned it. And you are new damned. Nice. Alright. Captain. We cannot put Merit in here? Why is that? Why can't I choose anybody to become a captain? Well, Lachlan can become a captain. I don't understand. Why can't I, can't I put Merit in here? Because I just... I just made her uh, a lieutenant and he, she needs a, a few battles before I can improve that on, on that, maybe. Okay, then our sniper Nukli will be a captain now. Members of your squad within 12 tiles gain double the base damage reduction from cover. But she's a sniper. Quad receives plus one defense when in cover. Yeah, I like that better. There you go. Well done, Nugli. Maybe two more lieutenants, that would be nice. So here, uh, Zhang has good... Uh, has good... Ooh. Holly is not... Yeah, let's make Holly an officer because she's not a scythe soldier. So stay frosty on all of these. Congratulations, Holly. And last but not least, Zhang. Where is he? Here. 57 willpower. Also good. Zhang, you will become the same. Nice, Zhang. Nice. Looking sharp. Sweet. All right. And we'll keep that captain position for a Nogli at some point. All right. So we did this at last time. Contact detected. So it's a small scout. Cool. There's an opportunity to get some in alloys, right? So, let's send out. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter, so let's send out Dusty Unbalanced. 
<clears throat> I'll get you. I'll get you. Approaching target now. Come on. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. We destroyed it. All right. This is the, the one moment here where I actually do not need more credits because of Exalt. Well, that's advanced time, I guess. Okay, repairs are done. The medkit project is done as well. Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. We got some new engineers. In the meantime, Psy Warfare System Titan Armor is coming in. We still lacking alloys. Um, when the Titan Armor is done, then I will get a few alloys back and then we might ma actually make another armor. That's the foremost thing that we need to do. Improved Arc Thrower, let me have a look here. It also takes alloys. God damn it! Mech Pistols improves critical hit on pistols. Ah. Uh, Tactical rigging, giving more mutant corpses, elite corpses. Too many alloys, too many alloys. Minecraft boosters. Alloys, alloys. Alien surgery. Okay, that's something new. Proof avionics. Takes ten alloy. I cannot, I cannot afford a single alloy to pay a single alloy for any, every, anything because I need these armors up and running. UFO scanners, also alloys. Okay, so there was one project that we can do is these aircraft boosters. That requires a lot of corpses zone and I'm very low on these. But since we are swimming in... Well, why not? I mean, we have the money. Do it. We're certainly keeping the boys down in the, the foundry boys. busy. I'll let them know you've got another project ready for production. Yep. So we are 50 minutes in. Come on, give me a mission. Give me a mission. Contact ah. detected. Medium destroyer. My goodness. No, we are not prepared for this. Scramble interceptors. All right. So on defensive. I don't want you to shoot down the satellite. That would be awful. Closing on target. They're all over us! No joy here. We hit like three times or something. Contact detected. Damn it, you're out for 16 days. Wait, again? Three? I think we just got one back or something. Interesting. Alright, Dusty on defense. Come on, Dusty, you can do it. Engaging bogey. Bogey. Nearing strike range. Yes. That was a hit. And another hit. More hits. We're getting eaten up here. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Ah, I wanted another hit. I mean, they are going to abort the mission, but we can shoot him down now. I have a feeling we can do this. Okay, Pipper. On defensive. You can do it. Get that kill, man. Oh no! They are gone! What We're happens? What? Huh? Oh, I don't now. even... Oh, come on! No! Ah! More hits! Come on, that was one hit! Two hits! The UFO is gone. What? It's gone. <laughs> so all that all that achieved was uh, I got my interceptor almost completely destroyed. Well done, Jordy. Well done. We now have one interceptor left. Didn't it show three? What the hell's going on? Okay, that takes seven days until I get the second interceptor back. Ugh. Yeah, I think we will transfer Snow Cone over. But we at least have two in three days, right? Or in, one, in two days, yeah. Because we are getting uh, our interceptors here back. 
right. Which one of these, uh... Oh, here, Commander Rex Linear. That is the, um... That is the, uh... Play Firestorm, Firestorm, yeah, there, there. Okay. I need a mission, guys. Okay, Scythe Warfare Systems Project is complete. Let's have a look. What this actually does. A breakthrough in human society can extend beyond the realm of the mind alone. With your go ahead, we can begin to develop our se several specialized pieces of gear. All right, all right. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, we are not building the skeleton key. Well, because it takes alloys, that's why. But we have to start building this. There is no way around. So let's build that first. Before I forget about it. Takes 12 days. Submit the order. Man, I forgot about that. Why is nobody telling me about these things? Okay, here we go. Blah, blah, blah. Pulse, pulse, get a laser. Blah, blah, blah. Alert bipod. Breaching ammo, chameleon suit, kiting plating. Combat stims. Impact vest. That's old stuff. What's the mind shield? Strengthens the user's will against enemy psionic attacks. Also projects a low level psi field that de deters secret strangulation. Confers steadfast perk, preventing panic when wounded. Then an ally is killed. Yeah, yeah I know that. Psy soldiers only. Uh huh. Well, that well that's a requirement. Neural gun link. Uh, confers plus twelve and plus twelve critical chance. Nice. Any rockets draws twelve will though. Usable by psionic soldiers or cannot be used with scope. Okay. Psy grenades. What does that do? Melt enhanced telekinetically propelled flashbang that synergizes with psionic powers. Enemy units inside expanded blast radius suffer significant aim and movement penalties during their next turn. Okay, it's like a flashbang, no, uh, only better, it seems. Robotic and advanced psionic enemies are immune. Well, that lessens the usefulness of this thing. Shows up as flashbang charge in ability icons. Cannot carry these and flashbangs at the same time. Temporarily consumes a small amount of soldier's will to operate. No, 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 no that's really bad. What's the size screen? Confers one damage reduction to side draws 12 will. Why does it all draw will? That's so bad. Shadow device. That sounds interesting. Confers temporary stealth on all friendly units in blast radius. Stealth lasts until the start of the unit's next turn. <coughs> Attacks from stealths receive a substantial bonus to critical chance. Oh. Does not affect panicking units, seekers, or units with concealment. Psy only draws will to equip. So an exchange of use only allows equipping one of these items and it does not gain charge bonuses from perks. Oh, okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, there are a few new tools that I could that I can consider. Huh. I don't know guys. I don't know if I want to put money into this and resources. They all draw will. That's a really bad thing. The mind shield might be a thing. Costs 20 alloys though. And it only goes on side soldiers and they have steadfast anyway. So I, I'm not too keen to build these things. I'm sorry. What? Why do I have three Aegis armors now only? I don't understand. And no Titan armor. That does not compute. Okay. So that was t totally useless to uh, research the Psy things. Well, let's get to uh, uh, EMP weapons. Oh, what's this? Another? Oh, come on! Or is this North America? No, it's over China. No! <laughs> I only have one left! Oh, shizzle. No! Why couldn't you wait at least two more days? Why do you have to send two 
in, at the, on the same day. This is this is really, 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 really not fair. Second hunter on the same day. Enemy is padlocked. Closing on target. We had to take a more aggressive approach so that we can at least bring them down to 50. Yeah. Okay, I had to stay there. Otherwise, they will sh shoot down another uh, satellite, which is now happening. Contact detected. Why can't I send my other interceptors from from North America over? How long? Still two days. Yeah, there is no way they will come in. The same day, guys. The same day. Well, shoot down one of my satellites then, go ahead. EMP cannon available for manufacture, drone capture project available in the foundry. Okay. Unfortunately, it takes uh, a sector pot break and we haven't even uh, got enough to get the... Uh, <coughs> uh, um, the autopsy going. Okay, so the here. See, we still need two, two more sector port wrecks. So the only thing that uh, makes sense here is anti-grav systems. So I let's do it. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. Yeah, it's my it's my pleasure, Varden. So let's see. Let's get a good look at what that EMP cannon requires over here. One sector port wreck, 60 alloys, and 160 Illyrium. What? I don't even have the Illyrium anymore. Where did that Ilarium go? Oh my goodness! Ah. Uh. Scratch, scratch. Oh, because maybe the skeleton key took forty Ilariums only. Hmm. Anyway, so in four days we are going to get a few alloys back. That's something. Okay, let's watch them bring down a, a satellite of ours. That's so ridiculous. Commander, one of our satellites is no longer responding to guidance commands. And the government of the nation it was monitoring has pulled their funding as a result. Yeah, yeah, stop talking. Okay. As it seems, it, it appears they will concentrate their uh, activity on China now. Since Ch China is the one with the highest panic. Uh, let me have a look at the hangar. I want to send over the... Um, the firestorm. To Asia because Asia sees more action, right? And it takes still nine hours to get. Oh, that's an Avalon missile, though. Only take th thirteen hours to get that back. Yeah, so transfer this over here. Yes, transfer this, and then transfer. I don't know, maybe this. Let's transfer Dusty back here. Confirm. Yeah. Seems fair. Aircraft transfer complete. They want corpses and give us one scientist for 20 corpses. Commander, our fighter is down. We've lost contact. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, why are you regurgitating this? Contact detected. Large abductor. So there comes our next, our yeah. next mission. Our satellite is prepped and standing by for launch. We are ready Carry to deploy on. it on your orders. Ah, the Super Sky Ranger project is ready. I, I like, I like. So, situation room. One uh, is available to us. 
So, shall we bring it up above China or above United States? We have more interceptors here, so... But they are not ready yet. I think we should wait until our um, air force here is available to us. I don't know. I mean with the... Uh, with the firestorm we should be ready. So I want to launch it now. Immediately. Launch the satellites. Above China. Although, if I launch it above the United States, uh, I get the continent bonus back. Yeah, th this will help because the uh, maintenance of interceptors are very... Uh, the maintenance costs are very high. So I launched it above the United States. Satellite launched. Okay, we got air superiority back. Nice. All right, let's wait for that abductor to create the mission. We will aircraft transfer. Commander, we have put a team together, to and then we will see that in the next the episode. So much Hall happened Road. in between. So uh, this is a mission where I can bring my trusty ships. So let's do that. B1 is coming with us. I wish they had some uh, some uh, way to uh, save your outfits. So B2, oh, five hours? Can we wait the five hours for B2? Is that a thing? I don't want to rene rename any anybody. So back to briefing. Yeah, we can wait that. Okay. It stops for B2, that's nice. Ah, oh. all right, one hour left, confirm. So B1 is in the wrong slot. I expected that. So B1 is coming with us. So is B2. Hello B2. And who's next? A3. No, B3 is coming with us. Fine. Then we have A4, I guess. No, no, A4 is gone. A4 got killed. <laughs> I remember that. Very poor chap. Oh no, A4 is here! What? Alright, A4. I think we have to um, re-outfit uh, A4 though. He has to become Chiefs again. And A5 comes with us. So B2 seems like they need another out... Uh, you know, another outfitting. So Buffy Pulsar, Core Armoring, Holo Targeting and Scope. There you go. You are done. Perfect. So, now... A4, you also need to change your uh, outfit here. That's the heat. That's the heat. Right, baby pulser. Scope. Yeah. Sounds good. Sounds good. That means you have officially become cheats again. Yay! A4 cheats is back. Sweet. Alright. And we have three slots left. Of course, we need an engineer. So why don't we bring Louise? Now I also want to bring uh, Annette because Annette needs to level up and get to psionic rank fast. And that leaves us. Ooh, I want to bring Captain Nukli. <coughs> but then we don't have a scout. We need a scout on every mission. So we will bring the Jabira to Daira. All right, so let's outfit the humans real quick. Oh wait, you know what? I want. Yeah, I want an, an overview of how many armor I actually have. So, no doubt, Titan armor goes back to tech armor, and you also. Also have tech armor, sweet, and you load out tech armor. There you go. And then make items available, except back to briefing and engineering. Built by items. So now I get an overview of how many, yeah, seven. Okay. So there is one Titan armor coming in that makes eight. And then we will have to build two more Aegis armors, at least. At least. 
uh, maybe a few phalanx armors for our base personnel. Still thinking about that base, uh, that base defense mission, right? All right, so confirm. So this is our team. Oh wait, we have to outfit them. We have to outfit them now. Okay. So load out. Uh, you can get, I guess, armor. That's fine. Yep, looks fine to me. So you actually, you are a special case here. Uh, we will give you the Titan armor. You will have uh, a pulse rifle. Uh, yeah, so I actually want to give you a neuroregulator and a cognitive enhancer so that you will level up fast. That's what I want to, want to do about you. But you have 61 aim, that's so bad. Uh, let me have a look. A neuroregulator. No, wait, put it in. Increases C psi XP for this will by 50%, grant plus 10 will, you're able to reverse engineer this idea, blah blah blah. Okay, and increases XP for this silver will by 20%, grant plus 5 will. Cool. So willpower is at uh, 93. Great, I have to say. Great. But the aim is so low. The aim is so low. And we don't have med, pa uh, med kits. We are only getting grants of uh, one med kit use on her, and she has steadfast. But she has to level up, right? So we will make sure that this med kit um, counts. And last but not least, you get another Aegis armor because you need to run around a lot, right? Because of hit and run, you have sprinter, marksman scope, and comedian suit. It's fine, sweet. And with that. Uh, this episode is over again. We, we shall start in this from here from this window out in the next episode. So I hope you will be around for that. See you there.